welcome back to the roundtable. I'm your host, Austrick Vox, and we got some exciting Steven Universe news. Specifically, Steven Universe Save the Light, but this ties into the series as a whole. The main antagonist of the game, a new homeworld gem has finally been revealed, and her name is Hessenite. Ah, oh, the Earth. Did you miss me? Now let's see, where is... Up oh, there you are. Beep! So let's just read off this Polygon article. Steve Universe Save the Light is already a must for fans of the Cartoon Network series, as its first console role-playing game. Aside from the myriad references to the cartoon and its Paper Mario-style gameplay, Save the Light will also be the first place where fans can meet the newest Steve Universe character, Hessenite. Hessenite, whom show creator Rebecca Sugar helped design in conjunction with the Save the Light development team at Grumpy Face Studios, is what a press release calls a pompous homeworld commander. The gem is in charge of Square Dot another recently revealed character in the show's universe. Hessenite lands on Earth to create more trouble for Steven as per usual. How this plays out will be a major part of Save the Light's storyline. That's about all we know when it comes to Hessenite for now, but we really are digging her design. Steven Universe Save the Light launches on PlayStation 4 October 31st, followed by Xbox One on November 3rd. For more on the surprisingly charming RPG, read our preview from this past summer. And while this is all very exciting, and yes, this game is canon, which means Hessenite does exist within the show, the article says that's all we know about her, but that's not quite true. Does Hessenite from her afro and gemstone look a bit familiar to you? She should, because we have seen Hessenite before. Hell, the blurb says she's a gem commander. So where have we seen a gem commander that looks just like Hessenite before? and Monster Reunion in Centipedal's flashback. She's the commander that gave orders to Centipedal. This is Centipedal's commander. Spoilers ahead, but I always believed into the theory that she was a Citrine. I mean, the gem shape matches up, and Citrine was name dropped by Emerald and Lars of the Stars. But no, it looks like it was a Hessenite. And since Save the Light is canon and takes place before Topaz and Aquamarine's abduction, it makes me wonder, is Hessenite ever going to appear in the show, and if so, are they going to reference the video game? Because that could be kind of confusing. Imagine you don't have a PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, and hopefully in the future, PC or Switch if the game gets ported to those platforms. Imagine Steven going, we encountered a Hessenite before. The general audience would be like, what? What are you, what are you talking about, Steven? So that is a somewhat disadvantage, but I'm positive the Cruniverse will work around it. If anything, it may just be like, oh, hey, that gem seems familiar. Or Steven will just encounter a Hessenite and not even reference Save the Light at all. That being said, it makes you think, will this game tie into the main story of Steven Universe without disrupting what we already know? What I'm getting at is, we know Navy returned to Homeworld at the end of Room for Ruby. It set up the end of Season 4 and subsequently Eyeball's appearance in the trial, but it was also left kind of vague and unclear. So perhaps Hessenite and Square Dot's appearance in this game is a response to Navy and the rest of the Rubies returning to the homeworld. And perhaps, depending on how Hessenite is defeated, the ending of this game will help better explain Topaz and Aquamarine's timing on Earth. Or maybe she'll just end up bubbled in the temple, and it will make a cameo in the show proper. But this is where I turn the conversation to you guys. How do you feel about Hessenite? Are you as excited as I am? Oh, <laughs> I love lore. And I really can't wait for this game. And hey, keep your eyes out on Roundtable Gaming. We're going to do an Attack the Light playthrough this week, and without going into too much detail, we will be able to have a Save the Light playthrough as soon as the game comes out. Leave your thoughts in the comments below, or tweet them to me at Vox. You can follow us for updates on our videos and shenanigans on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Roundtable Vids. And you can add us on Snapchat at RoundtableYT. You can join our Discord server, download our official Amino app, and if you want to support us, we're on Patreon. We also have some pretty nifty Steven Universe-based designs in our Teespring store. Links to everything in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please throw it a like, share it with your fellow Crystal Gems, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, it really helps us out. Be sure to hit that bell for notifications, so you can keep up with all things Steven. I hope you have a beautiful day, and Ostrich Vox, signing out.